Well, I think the reason for that has to do with the rebounding. Mariana Smith Traore they like to call her M. She's very active on the glass, getting her teammates second chance opportunities. They need more. It's going to come down to who finishes this fourth quarter the best. Going Hammond back to back Hammond in. inside. Yes, she's going to get one on one coverage. Stay patient. That's her first field goal of the game, I think. We're right here, we'll be right back in a one possession game. Scoring has been so low in this game. It doesn't take that much to get you back into it. Hammond will get it off the glass and in. I'd go one here. Beat the defense. Porter now gets set up. Hammond going to work off the power dribble. VCU's man. Dayton defense. Dayton goes underneath that screen on the ball right there. Keeps everybody in front of them. Well, they go inside to Hammond. And that's her second field goal down low. The yeah, statement they're making today is, you know, we're in this to go undefeated, and we're in this to win it. Inbound pass to Hammond. That couldn't have been from the floor, and 2 of 10 for the game. So the Spiders trying to take advantage with a team in a big drought like that. Underneath, Hammond regains a pass that had been knocked away momentarily. to shut her down. Reed. Robinson goes down low and Hammond finishes. the put back. Good stand by VCU and the tempo is picked up. Reed gave up a three. Williams into Hammond. Nice. Underneath mismatch. She's able to work against... this up. Back rims it. Two and a half into this fourth quarter. Hammond left wide open down low. Yeah. 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 Like 
Danielle Hammond. Hammond. Can check in in a moment. Tassin on the wing. Then tried to lob it to Hammond, who juggled it, caught it, put it up, and got. CBS <laughs> Sports Network. Shot and game clock separated by about seven seconds. Haddix Covington over to Reed. They want to give him to their leading scorer. Reed inside finds an open Hammond. Hammond basket counts in the frustration setting in for Jorgensen. But uh, I'll tell you, as a former player, you have to leave it. You have to leave it in the moment. There's two halves in basketball. VCU with the inbound, right back into Hammond, fighting through Caitlin Downey, got it back. Williams kicks it out to Robinson. Reed right down the lane. Hammond on the offensive boards, back to a two-point game. Off the backboard, tried to throw it in. Picked up by Archie, followed by Hammond, as good as the horn set. King, six seconds remaining in the quarter. King drives, she's blocked, it will stay with Ian. Playing two games a year, 
against St. Joe's for this entire time, for all this history, they've never beaten them both times in the regular season. They did it this year. There's a block for VCU. So that was a big sister fouled out. Hill drives. The block! Huge block from Hammond. guarding Maleshka reached in there took the ball that's a literal steal terrific nice play by Jeremiah if she's not scored she's doing stuff like that chance to score off the pass from Brie Kavanaugh Jeremiah just needs to slow the game down a little Stephanie Gately said she's playing a little bit fast lately Davin laying out from the elbow player but coming into this game, VCU is one of the top defensive teams. He has the full court pressure, but it's it's just token pressure. It's, I mean, this is where you gotta break it and be patient. Now there's still a quarter left. We've got 11 and a half minutes, and it's only a 12 point game. Kavanaugh smooth sailing to the bucket, missed it strong, rebounded by Hammond. is about three points per game. She's a transfer from Jones County Junior College. Rebound collected by Hammond. 